Y'all gonna have to hold it because these are these don't have no sockets to hold. Mm -hmm. The priest had to carry the ark <coughs> with the rods made of acacia wood. In other words, humanity rests upon the shoulders of the priest. But the presence of God was right here in the middle. Made of the same wood. The only difference, it was overlaid in gold. Why didn't he overlay the poles in gold? Because humanity, regardless of your purity, still has to cover and carry the presence of God. Do you understand? The Ark of the Covenant is where the presence of God is. And as long as the priest, now all four of y'all are going to walk forward two steps. Oh, look what happened with the presence of God. Oh, oh, when they move, Christ moves. Amen. Guess what? Christ ain't getting out of the way. Because mm, right. mm -hmm. he's fitted and fastened right between them. Amen. Hallelujah. Is, is the Ark of the Covenant behind them? No, it's in the midst of them. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In the midst of them. He didn't say that you had to be purified. Right. Because the staffs represent you. But the sockets were made of gold. That everything that you were to put humanity through would be covered by the glory and would smooth out the processes of your life. Thank you, Lord. Do you understand? Yes. Now the presence of God don't go backwards, it goes forward. Amen. Now it takes three more steps. Go. Still moving. Still moving with you. <laughs> doesn't even talk about what's going through their mind, does it? Maybe the priest had just an off day because it was St. Patrick's Day the night before. <laughs> <laughs> and we're thinking, this makes no sense. This is just a box. And the only thing inside is the manna that we used to eat. And there's blood all over it from the sacrifice. And it stinks. <laughs> and then God says, two more steps. Let's go. Well, wait a minute. They're having all these weird thoughts, but it's still moving with them. Do you understand? Oh, yeah. And then we get to a place. We get to a good place in God. Where he's not concerned by what you're thinking. He's not even concerned about how you're feeling. All he's concerned about is that you're connected to the presence. Do you understand? That's why he made his temple, his tabernacle, made out of things that were within our grasp. And the things that you couldn't get that were here on earth, he rained it down from heaven. The presence of God that rests upon the shoulders of the priests is what's necessary to cross us over. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You're the priest. What he did is he removed the poles. He removed the poles and he said, now I'll rest in you. Amen. Now I'll go wherever you go. Reuben, go two steps to your right. Daniel, two steps backward. Abel, go three steps forward. And Josh, stay right where you're at. If the poles would have been still connected, they wouldn't have been able to do that. 
So what he did is, is my presence will go with you wherever you go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So that the presence of God can go in places that it's never been. Amen. 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 Because when I bring stuff your way called mess, my presence will still be there with you. And when you go a different direction, I go with you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. There's no more restraints on you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Glory, glory. Yes, hallelujah. Yeah, well, let's go ahead.